Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, today we are going to be sublimating on a mouse pad and um, I ordered these mouse pads off of Amazon. They'll be linked in the description here. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint so that I don't have to worry about size restrictions. So this mouse pad in size is 8.6 by 7.1. And so we wanna make sure that our image is large enough to cover our mouse pad. And then our mouse pad, it kind of has like the curved corners on all fours. So we're going to make sure that we can cover up um, all of the mouse pad with the curves. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the menu here and I'm going to select insert. And I'm going to come all the way over to the right and <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on one second. All right, so first we're going to do the design. So first we're going to go to design and we're going to select slide size, custom slide size, and we're going to change this to an 11 and 8.5 because we want it to be in the landscape position. Okay, so 11 inches wide, 8.5 in height. Okay, and we're going to put it in landscape. Hit OK. You're going to get these two uh, areas here, one to maximize, one to ensure the fit. You just want to ensure the fit. And now we have an 11 by eight and a half in the landscape position. The next thing we're going to do is insert our image. So we're going to go back to the menu and select insert picture. And you're going to find your picture wherever it is on your computer. I'm going to be using this image that I created using Midjourney. And like I said, our mouse pad is 8.6 by 7.1, and we want this to go in the landscape position. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go here where we have our picture size, and we're going to click on this little um, area here, down arrow, and that's going to open up your format picture. And we're going to deselect the scale width and we're going to enter our sizing in here. So we want to put the um, 7.1 first and the 8.6 next. Okay, because remember, we want it to go in the portrait position. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up just a little bit. I'm going to put it on 7.3 and actually 8.8. .8. The reason I'm bumping it up again is because there is a little bit of um, rounded corners here. Now I could go and crop this, <coughs> excuse me, and use this rectangle here that has the um, rounded corners, but these rounded quarter corners are, are deeper than the mouse pad that I have. So I'm just gonna go with leaving it here on the rectangle and just make it a little bit larger so that we can guarantee we cover up we cover up the entire mouse, mouse pad and we don't have any areas of the mouse pad uncovered. So I actually have it at a 7.4 and an 8 by 8 and we'll size it from there. Now anytime you're doing sublimation, unless you're doing glass, like a glass picture frame or something like that that's double-sided, then you want to mirror your image so that it comes out going in the right direction. So to mirror in Microsoft PowerPoint, you want to make sure that you're on picture format here. And if you're not, you just click your picture and it'll automatically select picture format. And you're going to rotate this by flipping it horizontal. And that's it. At this point, all we want to do is print this out. So we're going to go back up 
and we're going to select file, print, and we're going to say print current slide because we're only just printing out this one. And I'm using the Epson Workforce 7720. So I'm going to show you my printer properties and settings that I use. I make sure that my quality is set all the way over to the far right of that little radio button. And I just leave it on plain paper. Now I'm using A sub ink and paper. And then on more options, I make sure that I deselect high speed. I do not want high speed on. I have it on a document size of eight and a half by 11, which is what we're using. And I have this, the output paper the same as the document size, okay? So at this point, we are ready to click on, back, go back to the main tab and we're ready to click on okay and print. Now, while that's printing out, I already have my paper in my printer. While that's printing out, I do want to tell you if you're new to sublimation that a lot of people like sublimation because it lasts longer than a lot of the other um, designs. So like fabric transfers, sublimation lasts longer than fabric transfers. It can last longer than vinyl designs and your colors are much more vibrant. You also cannot feel this material on your um, object. And um, so that's why people love sublimation. Now you can buy printers that are already geared up and ready to go for sublimation. You can also change over some of the Epson and a lot of models of the Epson printer to a sublimation. One second. All right, guys, so I have my um, image printed out here. Um, but what I was saying is that sublimation, it the colors are more vibrant, they pop more than some of the other projects that you can do like fabric transfer, just normal vinyl. Sublimation lasts longer. You can't feel it on the garment. Um, and, you know, it's just a really uh, nice project that you can do. If you haven't tried sublimation, I highly recommend you give it a try. All right, so now we have our image printed out. Our ink is dry. You always wanna make sure your ink is dry before you start touching it because even though um, you touch it and it, you think it's dry and it's not. If you get some of that ink on your uh, substrate, which is your blank, like our mouse pad is the blank. If we get some of this ink on there, that's not supposed to be in that place. When we add the heat, it will show up. So you always want to not handle your image until that ink is dry. All right. So let's now go on to the second part. All right, guys. So here is our image printed out, printed out beautifully. And like I said, this is not going to start popping. The colors are not going to start popping and come to life until we apply the heat, okay? Um, again, I'm using a -Sub paper. One of the things I like about a -Sub is that you can either get just the paper, which is what I have here. It comes in 110 sheets. This is the 125 gram paper, 11 and a half by, I mean, eight and a half by 11. So you can get just the paper. Um, ASUP also sells a bundle. So this is the bundle. It is the paper, it has the needles, and it has the um, ink already in it. Now, I've already used this kit, as you can see. So I've already used my ink. But if you decide to get the, um, if you decide to buy the bundle, and I'll have both just the paper and the bundle linked in the description. Um, it'll come with the needles, but it will not come with your, um, your syringes. So you will need to buy some syringes. And the syringes, that's what you use to attach your needle to, kind of like when you go to the doctor, so that you can push that ink through into your uh, cartridges, your sublimation cartridges, okay? So you will need to buy some of these, okay? So you'll put your needle here and then you get your ink and then fill it up and then push that ink into your uh, cartridge on your printer, okay? So that's that. So this is the mouse pad we're gonna be sublimating on. Now, a lot of times when you get a sublimation blank, it'll have like a plastic coating on there and you may not know it, like earrings, um, 
what else? Your mirrors, your compact mirrors, um, some of your tumblers, things like that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Bookmarks, all of those things, they have plastic on them. So you have to peel the plastic off before you sublimate. Otherwise, you'll be sublimating just directly to the plastic. These don't have anything covering them, I guess, because it's rubber. Um, the nice thing about it is that it has that rubber backing so that they don't slide when it's on your desk. So what we're going to do, we don't have to cut this or anything. I'm going to lay my mouse pad directly on top of it and make sure that my mouse pad is completely covered and ease. And even though I made it a little bit bigger, it still looked like, or either their system is off on sizing, but we'll see here when I get ready to press it. But it does look like, um, even though I made this larger, it still looked like it's not large enough, but we'll see here in a moment because my mouse pad is covering, or my, uh, you know, with those rounded corners, it's kind of awkward here, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. All right, so I'm gonna get some tape and I'm gonna tape this down. You always wanna tape your uh, image down and that's because you don't wanna have any type of ghosting. Ghosting is where you're gonna end up looking like it's blurry or has white patches on it. And you do not want that because if you get ghosting, it's pretty much a wrap. You can't fix it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take this down. And guys, if you don't know, it is snowing in Dallas, Texas. We are snowed in. And that's why I got this big jacket on because it is cold. Even in here, it is cold. All right, so I want to try to hold this up so you guys can see, but even though I made it larger, it still looked like it's, it's right on the money. So you might want to go up even a little bit larger if you decide to buy these mouse pads. It comes like 12 mouse pads. And like I said, I'm going to link it in the description. But you can see I don't have any color showing. And that's because it really filled up this mouse pad, even though I made it larger. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sublimate this um, 190 degrees Celsius. And I think it's like 365. Let me just double check. All right, guys, here we have our image on our mouse pad. Our press is ready to go. And I'm going to take that off like that. This is sticking up. I have a piece of butcher paper over my image to make sure that the ink doesn't bleed into the platen. And we're going to go ahead and lower and press for 80 seconds. Oh, Lord, I don't even have this thing halfway as tight as it needs to be. So I'm going to tighten this up. There we go. And I'll come back about five seconds before it is done. All right, guys, here we are. And you can tell a good sub when your ink starts to bleed through. So if you lift this up and you can see the ink seeping through then you pretty much know that you have a good sub okay so we are going to go ahead and take this off and you can see where we could have went a little bit larger here hopefully you guys can see that still hot 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 but it turned out gorgeous hopefully you can see how those colors are popping um i'm gonna let this cool down and I'll meet you back over at my um, computer. All right, guys. So it's still a little hot. But here it is. Give you a close up. You can see how those colors are truly popping. That is why I love a sub ink. Um, I would recommend if you decide to, I'm going to link these mouse pads in the description. Um, I would say that they are larger than the information says on the website. So I would say make your height 7.5 and you're with 8.9, okay? 7.5, 8.9, okay? So that you can make sure you get those little grooves right there on the end. 
Um, for those of you, again, that are new to sublimation, your ink should be mainly on your blank now, okay? So that's what I was talking about with your ink. You should be able to see the ink bleeding through or seeping through the paper on the on this side, you should be able to see it. If you can't, then that means that either you didn't have your press down tight enough uh, on pressure um, or you did not sublimate it for the right amount of time, okay? So there we have it, our ink pad, or not ink pad, but mouse pad, um, which is going to now be my crafting pad that I have in my crafting room. So yeah, that's it guys, uh, sublimated it at 374 for 80 seconds. And now I have me the perfect mouse pad that will last me for a very long time. I don't have to worry about this being compromised um, or anything like that because the ink bleeds into the mouse pad, okay? So I can only feel the mouse pad. I can't feel the ink. And that's one of the reasons why people love sublimation is because it bleeds right into the material, okay? All right, guys, that is it. Again, I will link everything I used, the mouse pad, the inks, the Ace of ink, and the papers will all be linked in the description. So you can go right to them um, on, the, um, in the, on the Amazon website if you need to purchase, all right? All right, guys, that is it, and that is all. The next thing I'm going to be doing is going to be a bracelet, a sublimation bracelet. Uh, and well, that's the next sublimation project I'm going to be doing is a sublimation bracelet. I may do some little earrings to match it. Maybe something I'll think about. But that's it, guys. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Dorsey's Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description. Um, please don't send a Facebook group request to my personal Facebook <laughs> because I very rarely check it. So you're not going to get any crafting stuff there. It's best if you just click the link in the description. Um, also, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, today is the day that I'm going to be announcing the winner of the $50 gift card. So I'm going to be doing that here shortly. So if you follow the rules for January for this $50 gift card, then you may be the winner. But I'm going to videotape it and I will post it to my YouTube channel. So, hey, anybody's winner at this point, if they, as long as you did what was re required of you to do. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.